Welcome, friends. Today, we are doing another first impressions video. Outrageous. That's right, friends. I am back once again with a first impressions video, this time on the house of Neela Vermeer Creations Fragments or Fragments by Neela Vermeer Creations. This is a subdivision of Neela Vermeer. Um, there is only three fragrances, and I think they are all parfums, but I'm not sure. I believe they are. Uh, all released in 2022, and I think Bertrand du... No, no, no. It's Bertrand du Chaffaut, Cristiano Canali, and Fabrice Oliveri who made these. So, a departure for the brand, because Bertrand du Chaffaut made all three the last time. All five, six... Um, I think it was six. Anyway, not to worry. So this is Neil Vermeer doing something a little different. Which is fun. These are pure parfums. And we will see what I think of them. I don't know what the prices are. I don't know what anything is. So I'm just going into this blind. Okay. So, Nemus is the first one, and it was representing fragments of regeneration and visual greens. Whoops, not much of a blurb on these ones, apparently. So, let us have a spritz, shall we? Nemus. Does not sound like Neiman Marcus all rolled into one. But I think the house is called Fragments. So, interesting. I'm trying to think of a of another another situation like that, you know. So the notes are ambergris, lemon, ginger, nagamotha, patchouli, geranium, oud, tea, citron, clary sage, frankincense, cedar, and bergamot. Oh, it's very juicy. It's a juicy little number, aren't you? A little bit spicy. But it's juicy. Good grief. Do you know... Like, cordial or like... Um, juice that you get for kids? Oh! Oh! Ho, ho. That is lovely. I'm getting like a like a like a like a like an outrageous ginger lemon juicy bergamot like fizzy lemonade like if you got some like fruit juice and then put lemonade in it oh it's sparkly It's a little bit spicy as well. This is outrageous. How much are you? This has got to be charging. Got to be charging more for these. Because that is... Uh, fragments. Neela. Vermeer. See what you yeah, not YouTube. What does uh Neil of Amir have to say? The 2022 collection this is. So are they gonna be releasing the 2023 collection, a 2024 collection? Let's see what they say. Nemus, Purpurum, and Thena Parfums are now part of our fragments by NVC collection. Their names are based on our impressions of the perfumes. So they've made the perfumes first, how strange. Fragments of Visual Greens, Regeneration, Nemus, created by Bertrand du Chaffaut. Created over the last years before COVID and during the pandemic, some were ready and some were being created. Then COVID-19 arrived like a surreal nightmare and interrupted our lives and everything we held sacred. Fragments of nature, heart, tenderness, clarity, feeling, reasoning, intellectual, brilliance, skill, ego, life, relationship, oneself, upheaval, breakdown, object, energy, food, art. Good grief. Shop. How much are you? Tell me. What's going on? 
Apparently there's Uden here as well. Just tell me how much do you want? 170 euros for 50 mil. Wow. It's quality though. I'll give them that. That is a lovely fresh perfume. It's got something a little bit soft and ambery too now. You know? Oof. Creamy. Something a bit creamy going on there too. Reminds me a bit of Nexon. It smells very natural. You know, like the opposite of... We all know what we mean when we say something smells synthetic. Like, even if it's like... I know that there are synthetics used in perfumes that smell natural, but... When we say synthetic, we mean something like tyre rubber, you know? Like, it, it doesn't smell like something that would, like, pop out of nature. This does. It's got that beautiful, juicy citrus at the top. Good grief. And then... This creamy, dark, woody... Still slightly fizzy, still fresh. Ah, apparently it's got tea in it as well. It could be giving it this kind of darkness. Patchouli, oud apparently. Is it real oud, really? Woody, it's becoming woody and a little bit herbal and spicy now. Still fresh, that is fucking glorious, that, dear me. That is an absolutely gorgeous perfume. Excuse me whilst I hydrate, I need to take a second after that, my goodness. Oof. That is, um... Wow. That's good material in there as well. You can just tell. Um, okay. Let's look at the next one, shall we? Just while I sort my life out. Um, the next one is Purpurum. Purpurum. And this, according to their website, has the following. Tonka. Dark rum, magnolia, brown tobacco, coffee, pepper, licorice, immortel, myrrh, cacao, dried figs. I thought that said eggs for a second. Dried figs, labdanum, and leather. Let's have a look at you. On you go. Trying to get it to spray there. The spray is not the world's best on that one. Okay. Ooh, ooh, I got an amber wood there. I got an amber wood note. Filth. Ah, uh, after that note list, and I was really looking forward to smelling this as well. Maybe it's different on skin. It's got a touch of own noir about it. Licorice, coffee, tonka. Okay, so the, the, the amber wood thing's drying down, but I, I, I sensed amber wood there and sprung into defense mode, you know? I'm getting that kind of dry, woody, slightly sweet, slightly it's 
slightly sweet, slightly dry. Ah. I was really looking forward to this after reading that. Um, I was really looking forward to smelling that after reading the the uh, note list, and, and I just all I can smell is like this kind of sweet, dark, woody, ambery thing. I'll have to try that on skin. I'm going to try all three of these on skin. I'm definitely trying uh, Nemus on skin because that was fucking outrageous. The beginning of that. Um, these are pure perfumes as well, apparently. Uh, the wannabe for fucking 175 for fucking 50 mil. And you're getting towards Tom Ford prices there. Not that that's something you should aspire to as a brand, but there we are. Tom Ford prices are out of fucking hand now. Anyway, let's go to the last one, shall we? Thaina. This is a pimento berries, hazelnut, violets, lavender coffee... Tolu balsam, sandalwood, amaris, peru balsam, styrax, and birch tar. Mm, that sounds like it'll be nice. Let's have a whiff. <laughs> ah, this spray is working. Okay, Thaina. Whoops, a daisy. Sorry about that. Sorry if I'm pronouncing these wrong as well. It's not my strong suit. That's interesting. I get the violet, but it's not very violet-y at all. But it's like a twang of violet. I get the lavender. Hugely, I get the lavender. I get the sandalwood and the tolu balsam. That is really nice. It's very, very different. I've got to say, I've been rather impressed with the quality of this brand. Like, it's very different from your your average, your average, like modern niche brand, which are frankly ten a penny these days, and, and usually not very good. This is the opposite of that. These are extremely well made. Every single one of them is extremely well made. And frankly, artistically, they're different from the rest of the crowd, from what I've smelled. So the violet gives this kind of... It's, it's not like, a, it's not like a, a violet leaf. It's more of a violet flower, but it's not like a... It's not like those Palmer violets. It's not like that. It's much fresher. It's much more fluid. I think it's because of the lavender, it's more creamy, you know. It's very balsamic, it's very creamy resin type thing. Fresh flowers, resinous, creamy. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze me whilst I hydrate. If anybody wants to squeeze us, I am very squeezy to be fair. lavender and this is outstanding it's the lavender the lavender feels like the star of the show here um oh these are these are really nice it's ambery it's it's creamy i don't know who fabrice oliveri is and i don't know what he's been up to or where he's been, or where he's come from, where he's going. This is gorgeous. It's fresh. It's clean. It's inviting. There's a little bit of warmth in there. There's something else in there as well that just kind of keeps it interesting. 
The violet and the lavender are doing a dance. I don't know what these will do on skin. I can't wait to do my final impressions. Um, Cause I've worn them, I've worn them on skin. Um, all of them, like I've spread this out quite, quite widely between the wearings of all of them. So and this will probably be the, the last first impressions series I'll do this year. So, cause today is the 20th. That is so nice. That is absolutely lovely. That is one of the best lavenders I have smelled since Beaudesjour Private Blend. And a long time before that. Can't think of many lavenders that smell this good. Oh, that's so fucking nice. Good grief. Um, well... Okay, let's go back over the three of them and see how I feel. So the first one was Nemus. Nemus. That's lovely. That's got this fruity, juicy, clean, warm summer's day. But at like before the before like no mugginess, no humidity with a little breeze and it's the morning before it gets too hot. It, there's there's vibes. I'm getting vibes of Pavarotti. It smells like a happy fragrance. Like Pavarotti's a happy fragrance for me. And that gives me very similar vibes. That and Nexon by Tower. Happy fragrances. That is Fucking immense. Um, next up we have... What do we have here? Um, yeah, there's an amber wood in here. There's an amber wood in here and it's absolutely destroyed the rest of the fragrance. It does what amber woods do and it has completely dominated the rest of the notes. I'm getting little flicks of like sweetness and, and darkness and... Other things, but it, it, it that it, that has been this fragrance has been shat upon from a great height by a dirty great amber wood fragrance. I would love to smell this without amber wood in it because that's all I can smell now. Oh, it's rough. That is rough. I don't like that. I can feel that at the sides of my head. Ah. Get out. I'll try it on skin and see what happens. Um, like I've tried the rest of the brand on skin. That's the, the, because of me, me disdain for Amber Woods, me hate for Amber Woods. That's the only one that's disappointed as so far. Like disappointed as in the way it's made, you know. Amber Woods always feel really clumsy to me. Like they come in and they're just like that big, eager, overly active kid that fucking dominates everything and you can't, you don't want to hate them because like you know they're being a kid but it's annoying and it gives you a headache and it's too much um okay lastly we have Thyena the violet's out more now that's very interesting Creamy lavender with like a twang of the violet. It's lovely. The more you smell it, the more the lavender becomes present and the sandalwood, that kind of creamy, clean sort of vibe. It'll be interesting to see what these do on skin, which I will... Promptly, I will promptly spray them on skin after the video and come back to you with my final thoughts on the brands. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. I will see you on the next one. Goodbye.